very hard to define what a supper club is. It's, it's more of a friendly atmosphere. Um, it's like you're having your friends for like dinner you're having every your night. Friends. Absolutely. When I look at a supper club in a small town, it's sort of the the main attraction, and it's sort of the really the only place to go, whether it's for dining or entertaining or you know, getting a drink. Other, you know, there's a few roadside bars and a couple stores, and and then there's the post office, and then there's the supper club. I think it's sort of uniquely Wisconsin. It's the family atmosphere and the uh, congeniality that uh, is in the indicative of the supper club. People want to come in, they want to have a good meal, but they want it like the fan franchise concept where they're in and out in, in half an hour. And when you want a good meal that's prepared, you know the ingredients, they're not about a box, dropped in the fryer, it's going to take a little bit of time and I think those are some of the challenges that we face. Chains started coming in, I think the first chain restaurant I remember was like when I was 14 or 16 years old, came into town. Now there's a lot of chains. They put out a decent product but what they do is they just kind of feed the masses all kind of the same, to me, blase, sweet, corn syrup flavored type of food. They affect the business because they take, they take from a percent and they have a huge advertising budget nationwide and a lot of times people go where they're comfortable with instead of where it's actually more comfortable. Everybody is welcome at supper clubs. Generally, Wisconsin, in terms of food, we just like to have a lot of it. We want it to be homemade, and we want it to be really good, and we want to be together uh, when we're to enjoy it. And so I think supper clubs really speak to that part of our culture in a, in a big way. Mm -hmm.